Mountain. For Sony Computer Entertainment Europe production. Fasten your seatbelts for another Naughty Dog creation. What is up, people? It's time for some Crash Team Racing. This is where it began, where it all started. So we're going to be playing through uh, Crash Team Racing, basically, on the PlayStation 1. Why? Because... Why the hell not? Considering that the new game is coming down soon, why not? Let's, let's watch this, though. Let's, let's see what this is about. Well, without further ado, let's get this started, shall we? So, definitely a game I played a lot as a child. So who are we going to go for? Hmm. See, the character I tend to like to use a lot more is actually ripper -Roo. But considering you can't use them in story mode, we're going to just go for Crash. Whoa! Whoa! So, let's put N... Who remembers this? Da -da 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 -da. Save into memory card! And I really cannot wait for the remastered, like... Welcome to the Adventure Arena. You can travel around this area and practice your driving skills. The dots and stars on the map represent warp pads, which lead to races. When they flash, it signifies they are open to play. To access a racetrack, Drive onto a warp pad that has an active warp vortex, and it will take you to the track start line. Finish a track in first place to win a trophy. As you collect more trophies, other tracks will turn on and open to you. Good luck, and drive fast. And drive fast. That's it, just getting the hang of this again. Crash cave. I'm hoping they do keep the soundtrack the same. I don't want no 
dirty remix, and if they're gonna do a remix, at least give me the option to change. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm being stupid right now. It's been a while. Oh, wow. it's a good thing I'm playing this now, because when it comes to the actual game, I don't want... Oh, you can use D-pad. That was it. You can use D-pad. Let's get used to the, the drift here. It's cool, we got this, guys. This is... Memory lane again. Uh, so, if I remember correctly, the best thing to do was to... There we go. It's all coming back to me now. Not that anyone else is coming up that way. But I think that's safe to say first race one. So as you can see, the first lap was a bit, whoa, 41 seconds, and then we, we brought it back, 33 seconds. Final lap. So it's all about getting used to the drift mechanics, because I keep feeling like I've played a bit of Mario Kart recently, like lately now. And it's the kind of thing where when you're drifting, rather than actually going, continuously going straight, you're kind of drifting and you kind of... It's hard to say, but in the direction you're drifting in, you kind of go back a bit, or slide, it's it's a bit mad, but it's definitely was a good mechanic. You win a trophy. The more Wampa Fruit you collect, the faster your cart will go. Why, thank you. I know. Oh, missed it. So coming close to the uh, release date of Natural Fueled, I should be ready. Should be back in shape, back on form. But tell me if you guys are really excited for the game, because I know that I am so hyped for the game right now. Yeah, it just feels a bit slippery, I think that's what it is. So, okay, you're about to get the hell out of my way, boy! Oh shit, I'm Putting up some sort of resistance? What the hell is this? What the hell is this? How the hell did I change that? Oh! Come at me, yo! Whoops. Definitely not Mario Kart. But in my opinion, this was a solid game, and actually, I, sh I really did 
prefer this over Mario Kart. But everyone's got their opinions, whether you like the um, Crash Racing series, Crashing Racing series, or the Mario Kart series. Should we start getting the uh, boxes actually? But we're on the final lap, what difference does it make? So we'll actually get through this game pretty pretty quickly. There's a few races in this, but don't think it'll take us long to get through the whole game. You win a trophy. Congratulations. You win a trophy. trophy. Ugh. Look up, leave me alone. When you get a TNT crate on your head. Okay, yeah. Jump, 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 jump! Mystery Caves! So this is the PAL version actually. I thought I'd just put this out there. So this is the one where... The Penguin... Was overly powerful. Overly, overly powerful. Like... Just... Max stats. Just leave these guys in the dust. Okay, let me go. Defense. Oh, not so good. So this is the type of game where you couldn't actually just hold the items behind you. This is like you've got to, you've actually got to just time your shit. Okay, miss, miss jump there. There we go. And there was some sort of auto aim though. It did feel like. And Coco, I see you later. <sighs> Burnt as well. I stole my apples, my wampa fruit. Oh, I'm just getting singed. I'm not gonna make that. Okay, so we need to claw this one all back. Because now we are six. Somehow. Falls out. There we go. Third time the chum. Oh, that's why. They go up and down. Okay, so let's try and get. Not much of a crazy lead, but we still got first. We're basically just trying to give ourselves the best kind of um, edge we can. 
But I thought it would be cool to kind of do a playthrough of this game. And then when we actually do get Crash Team Racing Now Trek Fueled, do a playthrough of that. Although it's going to be the same thing, it's going to be nice to see the differences in graphically, graphically the difference that they've made. You win the trophy. trophy. You're gonna talk me tell me now. You can get a hang time turbo from jumping. The longer you Okay, so we want to go this way. And there is one just here. Sewer speedway! I don't know if anyone's ever played the uh, Crash Racing, Crash Kart Racing on Game Boy Advance, I think it was, Crash Team Racing. It's a pretty decent one, and that actually had Sparrow in it. Out the way, for goodness sake. This is where you just drift. Oh, we won't get that. Drift without any limits. Oh, apart from exactly in between the wall. For it. Get that speed gun. Woo! We are so juiced. Oh, and flattened. So flat as well. Again. Okay. At this point, I'm so far ahead, I just want to focus on just the drifting aspect of it. Crazy enough to race me! I'll show you the, the, the last one across the finish line is. Jesus. Well, Ripperoo, let's do this. So I'm wondering if they're going to keep the controls exactly the same. For the remaster, that's one thing I don't actually know. Uh, okay, so you, yeah, you basically want to keep drifting. I 
I, mean, I think the computer does have catch up on, so you can't really get too far off. Far without. I'm trying to leave this guy behind. Jesus. Messed up the whole drift there. He's getting close up. <laughs> Woo! Thirty two seconds flat. Yeah. That was my slowest lap, actually, the, the, the last one. Well, Ripperoo. I wonder if they're going to have all the um, old characters as well playable, like you can in this one. You are crazier than me, yeah. Have a key. Thank you. Good luck, you'll need it. <laughs> oh jeez. Congratulations on opening this new area. Here you will find four more tracks to race. Good luck. Four more tracks to race. Four. And all of these become active. But for now we're just gonna focus on the races. If anything I wanna save these until the actual real game comes out. And that'll be fun. But anyway guys, we're gonna save the game. And we're going to recontinue in this world. This is I know. the old save. I know. I know. I got this. Save. All right, people. We're out.